Uh, could uh, get uh, serious as well with the uh, travel conditions across uh, North Texas. So be aware of that. We've been trying to tell you to prepare and get ready for the uh, freezing rain, sleet, snow that is all coming our way. Now things are calm and quiet out at the Love Field right now. Things will be moving along uh, pretty well, but we've already uh, mentioned uh, to some of the uh, flights, Southwest Airlines and other airlines, American uh, already canceling the uh, flights because of the anticipated uh, issues that we're going to see around the area later today. So here comes the front working its way in. Temperatures already starting to fall in the upper 30s, getting out to buoy right now at 38 43 in Gainesville. So that colder air beginning to spill in from the north and west. Temperatures will be going in the opposite direction. Dallas are already down to 52. We were 57 a little bit uh, earlier here this morning. Now we'll have the uh, light rain early on, but the uh, rain will start to increase in coverage as we go through the morning, heading toward the afternoon. And then as we get, get into late morning, maybe even our northwestern counties could begin to see that uh, change over to the uh, freezing rain and sleep mixture. So we'll be keeping an eye closely on those temperatures, but widespread rain expected through the afternoon. But notice around five o'clock. That's when we'll begin to see that more of a changeover in our northwestern counties moving down into the Metroplex Denton back toward Decatur starting to see that freezing rain and sleep mixed in that continues into the evening. You see that pink shaded area moving over a larger part of North Texas, including the Metroplex by 10 o'clock tonight. So we're probably looking at all freezing rain and sleet in our northwestern counties, probably more so of a, a sleet snow mixture for us, and that will continue through the evening. Overnight hours around 7 a.m. still going to be ongoing with the uh, wintry precip with that mixture of a uh, sleet and snow, I think, around the uh, Metroplex. So we'll start to see some of the accumulating uh, snows there in our southeastern counties out into uh, east Texas, looking at more of that uh, freezing rain and sleet mixture in those areas. Now the snow will continue through much of the morning, tapering off into the afternoon, and then the cold really settles in for us too as we go through the rest of the week, heading on into Thursday, Friday, Thursday night, Friday morning, and on into a Friday night and early Saturday. But by late Thursday going on into Friday, we'll see all the precip ending. We'll start to clear out, but it is going to be quite cold. Now, as far as the accumulation is concerned, we've upped that a little bit in our northwestern counties to the uh, ice and uh, sleet and snow totals, maybe two to four inches plus in some areas, and perhaps coming down toward the Metroplex, maybe upwards of a one to three in some places. So we'll uh, see, uh, have to deal with that and see if that uh, plays out, but certainly going to have some accumulation to uh, deal with. Ice is going to be a big problem out there for us as well with the accumulating uh, ice uh, totals as well. So we'll show you that coming up here a little bit later. Now, as far as the uh, temperatures are concerned, We'll be right around 20 degrees upper teens, I think, tomorrow morning. But look at those wind chills as we go through the day tomorrow. We'll only be in the low and mid 20s with those temperatures during the day. And those wind chills will be down in the single digits and lower teens throughout the day. So it is going to get quite cold, even though the precip will start to wind down for us. So we'll have that rain initially, the freezing rain and sleet, and then maybe snow on top of that. So again, that's why we're recommending you not be out at all if you don't have to be, especially heading on into tomorrow. So the falling temperatures today, we'll have that wintry mix as we've just talked about temperatures only around 25 degrees or so tomorrow will be in the upper teens on Friday morning going into Saturday before those temperatures get back into the 40s as we get on into Sunday and into next week. All right, we'll have more.